Welcome back to Cleaning Garage, it's Fred here. On today's episode, part two of our six litre LS build, we're gonna start tearing this engine down, drop the oil, get rid of all the um, cabling and coil packs and all the rest of it, start stripping it down, get ready to send some bits off. See you in a second. Duck's guts. <laughs> First part of the teardown is to get rid of all your um, wiring harnesses and all the rest of it. LS has got this mass contortion of wiring, and we've gotten most of it off. But I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks, including some tools you're going to need. So this little hook here is going to be your best friend. So come around this way, Fred Junior. If you have a look here, these little pigtails where the injectors go in, they are notorious to get off. And they're full of these little plastic clips here. So we're gonna share with you a little trick on how to get them out and not break them. All right, so these little um, injector pigtails have got this little gray clip here that goes up and down. And then it's really hard then to get the, um, the actual injector pigtail off. So it's a two step process. So watch this, get in under here and lift up that little gray clip like so, and then also use your little heart surgery tool there to get under and pull him off, just like that. Take your time with it, because they're gonna be really hard and um, not soldered on, but they're gonna be on, and you don't wanna be reefing and try and pull them off and crack them. Once you've undone all your plugs and made sure you haven't broken any clips, get the big snake. It's gonna be quite delicate. Pull him off and Put all your wiring harness into a separate box and make sure you've got all your retaining little plastic clips and don't lose anything. Next thing, get your coil packs off. So your coil packs are connected obviously to your, your leads um, and then they've got these little retaining 10 mil bolts on on the bracketry. You don't need to undo everything where you see a nut. There's just this one's here, Fred Junior. Come around here. Just go for these ones here. And that's what's mounting the coil pack to the top of the rocker cover. So we'll get those off using the 10 mil socket and keep going. Now disassembly, one of the most important things is to box, bag and tag all your um, nuts and bolts and screws. So there are our retaining coil pack screws in there. Undone our leads and then the coil pack assembly should come off just like that. So we'll keep that somewhere safe. Um, and the reason we're stripping all this down is with all the hail storms, all these cars were left out in the dirt and the paddocks and stuff. And obviously they've got a ton of dirt. We're going to clean it up totally before we send the heads away as well. But um, yeah, also it's nice having a, a naked LS motor in the garage and coil packs are not the most aesthetic thing to look at, so we'll keep these safe. All right, so we'll drop the oil in the, in the um, L77. Now, you need a 15, 15 mil socket on the sump bolt, we'll do that. And then um, let's take a look at the oil. Now this car had 120,000 clicks on it and I saw that it was just serviced 5,000 Ks before the accident and the write off. So let's take a look at the oil and then I'm going to whip the sump off and make sure there's no nasties in the bottom of the sump as well. So let's. Oh, mate, obviously tighten that up nice for us. All right, Fred Junior, get ready. Yep. She's about to flow. Coming out fairly nice. Have a look at that. Now we'll take a good look at that. But I'm going to take a particular interest to see if there's no metallic pieces coming through at the very end. Okay, Fred Junior, so we're dropping the oil. 
and I haven't seen any surprises. And look at the colour here. It's a bit of a dribbler. Um, I'm not seeing a metallic stream here. So it actually looks pretty good. I mean, the ore needs to be changed, but it's... I'm not seeing massive fragments or silver coloured mercury, so I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so the oil's out. All looks really good. So have a look here for a junior. So we're pretty happy with that. Doesn't look too silvery or metallic and we had no bits coming out. So we'll whip the um, sump off anyway and have a good look at the rotating assembly. Make sure there's no other bit. There's a magnet down the bottom of these sumps from memory. Make sure there's no metal filings in there. I'll show you a look in a second. All right, there's a heap of sump bolts on these and they're all on 10 mil. So we'll start whipping our way around there. We might need to just pry it off a bit too, but we'll be nice and gentle and we'll go slow. So pulling the sump cover off, you've got all these little 10 mil bolts and they go all around the outside of the, um, the sump. So keep them handy here. So the two big ones, so these one at the, the back here. Now they're, real, they're also 10 mil, but they're real long. So don't try and pry your sump off without getting those little guys in because they're a bit deceiving because one hides behind the oil filter. Uh, and they go all the way through the, um, the block as well. So I'll pull them out and keep going. Because these motors are aluminium, don't stress too much on them and try and jam things in there. But the sumps do have you know, a bunch of elastic and a gasket on there. So just find a nice little spot. I normally go here behind the engine mount here. Find a little spot to dig in and then try and prise him up like that and get it off the gasket. And once you've done that, you can come around. It's got to be so delicate, these motors, because they are aluminium. And then it pops off with the gasket intact. So let's have a look for a junior. Again, she doesn't look bad. There's not a lot of big hunks of metal and stuff in there, but we'll give this a proper degrease and clean and all the rest of it and um, make sure we don't have any other gremlins. All right, she looks pretty clean in here. Um, we'll pull all this apart, obviously, but our little oil strainer here. It's got a little bit of a mosquito in there, it looks like, or a little bit of bug, but no molten crap in there, so that's good. Um, look at little Mr. Dipstick. <laughs> so we'll leave all this intact for the moment, and um, we'll keep going on our tear down. But um, look, hopefully these videos are helpful on how to pull it apart. Um, this, you know, we're about a third of the way. Um, we're not going to strip the entire motor down because we're going to do bit by bit. Um, we did want to check out what condition we're in, so that's good. Um, not, you know, don't have any huge surprises there. Um, but our next step is to just make sure everything else is in check on the bottom end, we'll put the sump back on it, and then we're going to ship our heads away. Okay, so at Clooney Garage here, we've cleaned up the LS. Have a look at this for a junior. Looking a bit more bare and naked now. Um, we are seriously going to get ourselves some aftermarket rocket covers. So you can get these like LSX or, um, you know, some Chevrolet rocket covers, because these LS ones are just ugly as. Anyway, all the wiring looms done, core packs are done, sump is off. Drop the oil, um, it might be enough for, for part two. Uh, part three, when we keep tearing it down, we'll, um, you know, we'll have a look at the rotating assembly and all the rest of it, but um, well, I can't give you all you guys something in one episode, but bit by bit. Anyway, the heads are gonna go off to Higgins, and we do not wanna pull the heads off until we're ready to do that. So they're an exchange unit with Higgins. Check in the uh, link in the description below. Frankie, he keeps, Shopping for a camshaft. He's really after a Brian Tooley stage four. Um, and all you guys have been commenting and all that, so we need to get some more comments on camshafts because we're going to show you guys how to do one as well. We're going to do a trunnion set, show you guys how to do that. Probably going to put some head studs in this thing too when the heads come back. A um, bunch of other things too. Um, we are not going to replace the manifold. The intake manifolds on these things are pretty good. Um, so the standard, you know. LS, L98, L77 intake manifold, we will stick with. Um, but on that note, for a junior, extractor's going to be like what we've got on the VE, so we're not going to change them either. But um, yeah, we'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Don't do it for Dale, do it for Brocky. Catch you later.